Hi there, Brett here from Blick Digital, and I wanted to walk you through how to create an effective email engagement campaign. And I'll start off by saying a quick little stat that I heard here from Marketing Sherpa, which is that did you know that up to 25% of your email list will go cold each year? In other words, 25% of your email list will stop engaging, they'll stop opening emails or clicking on links. And depending on your, your contact list and database size, that can be a pretty large portion, a really large group of people. And so what we want to do is make sure we keep as many contacts as possible engaged. And so that's really the purpose of this short video. One of the main reasons you want to just keep your contacts engaged is, well, first of all, you know, the more contacts that are engaged, the more that are, uh, you know, doing business with us, right? At the end of the day, that's really what we want. But the other reason that you want to really keep an eye on this is that you could be at risk of damaging your sender reputation by sending emails that don't get opened. And so what's happening is, Google, Yahoo, some of these other big uh, email service providers out there, they're tracking, are, are your contacts opening the emails coming from you? And if not, and if you have a pretty large list, this becomes even more important. They're gonna start rerouting those uh, emails um, elsewhere, not the inbox, in other words, spam folders or wherever else. So that's one of, uh, really the two main reasons that you wanna keep an eye on these things. So I'm gonna be talking about, talking about Infusionsoft here. And uh, right now, what I want to start off with is how you find those unengaged contacts. And that way you can actually do something about it. So inside Infusionsoft, there's a report called email status search. Uh, I don't have the screenshot here necessarily, but you'll go to uh, the, the marketing section and then there's reports. And then down here, once you've opened up that report, the search criteria, you'll just search for unengaged marketable. Now, if you're using Infusionsoft, Infusionsoft considers anyone that hasn't either opened or clicked an email in the last four months is unengaged. And so if you look down a little bit further, there's last engagement date intervals and other search options. So if you don't like the, the four month default that they're going to provide you with that email status, you can play with those dates a little bit more and then find your list that way. So uh, the next one, the next section here is what is a re-engagement campaign? So a re-engagement campaign is really meant to help you recapture the interest of those 20 that up to 25 percent or whatever the, the portion is in your database recapture their their interest in your brand and get them to open and click on emails again ultimately again we want engagement we want individual contact we want them to respond we want them to be a part of our business and so that's really the end goal here but the tactics are how we get them to actually take action and so our process is pretty basic and it goes something like this. We have a lot of automation going on and tracking what they're doing and what they're opening and all of that. But for the most part, we recommend doing a campaign like this every 12 months. And so you'll see our first email there is to first acknowledge and uh, acknowledge the fact that it's been too long since um, we've sent them content that they're you know interested in. And so usually we'll start off with something like, sorry, the emails that we've been sending to you uh, aren't relevant or aren't, you're not engaging with them in some way. So you'll kind of have to use your, you know, your marketing voice and, and your audience and kind of uh, put together a nice email that essentially delivers uh, a quick acknowledgement and then uh, just the amazing content that you've been providing in the last 12 months. This, the purpose of this email is not to sell. The purpose, again, is to get them to re-engage. And so you want to provide amazing content. Email number two is similar to email number one. So if they're not taking action, we're going to resend that first email or a version of it. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. And at the bottom of these first two emails, we're going to have really two links. One is this looks great, but no thanks. So no thanks link or yes, keep me on your list. And those are just going to allow us to, to segment uh, your contacts inside the database. Of course, they can always go to the bottom and hit unsubscribe as well. And that'll help you segment them pretty easily. And then that third email is just a last chance. This is the last chance uh, to receive something from us. If you don't uh, click here and let us know that you're interested, you know we're not gonna send you any more email. And that can be a little scary for some businesses, I know, especially if this is a large list of contacts that you're gonna re-engage. Because the reality is you gotta set your expectations here. This is an unengaged list that you'll be sending this campaign to. And so you, you can't expect a high open rate, you can't expect a high click-through rate. And so you have to be okay with taking those that aren't engaged at the end of this campaign. And I don't necessarily recommend deleting them, but I would at the very minimum 
uh, export them and then either unsubscribe them or delete them at that point, but keep the data because you might use that later. And uh, in other words, you just don't want to continue sending them going back to the earlier slide because it's going to negatively affect your sender reputation. And again, those contacts really aren't engaged anyway. So keep that in mind. There is a process where you can automate a lot of this as well. Infusionsoft has some basic automation options for you, again, in the in the marketing settings section. And uh, what you'll see is that there is a trigger for when a contact's status changes, and specifically when it changes to unengaged uh, marketable, I think is what they call it. And that will allow you to trigger this campaign off in an automated way. And there's some other automation around that that you want to keep track of. In other words, you don't want to send them like your your weekly email broadcasts while they're in this process because this process is specific to getting them to re-engage. So there's some other things like that. Um, there is also a, a tool that plus this, I think even MyFusion Helper has, which allows you to go even further with automating a lot of these things. But this will get you started with an out-of-the-box solution that Infusionsoft provides. So the main thing here as a conclusion is just take this opportunity, clean up your database and just know that you're, you're doing the right thing. And I think that's really the biggest concern. I think that people that I talk to about this is they're just really uneasy about doing it, but it is the right thing. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to keep your database clean and up to date. And you know, nobody wants to be a spammer. And hopefully you found some benefit out of this video. I hope you did uh, leave a comment below and we'll talk to you soon.